Welcome back. This video is going to focus on finalizing our architectural floor plan, including dimensions and completing the title block. Key things to note with dimensioning is it's completed over three lines in a floor plan. This is to provide clarity where there's a lot of information and a lot of dimensions or measurements uh, needed to inform the construction and design of a building or a structure. So please note that on the first line or closest to the building, it shows external features such as windows and other openings in the external walls. So 2.5 being that distance there, um, 2.4 meters being that window, 900 being this external door. Upon the second line, it includes internal features such as internal rooms and wall thicknesses. So 300 being the thickness of that uh, exterior wall, likewise there and also there. And then the room space being 10.8 meters and 8.7 meters. And lastly, the overall total length of the building or the structure. Notice there's no arrow um, heads and so these are substituted with architectural ticks. So the projection line only extends two mil in length and the architectural ticks at a 45 degrees and travels three mil in length. Dimensions are always in millimeters. They're always centered and preferably displayed um, above the line or just keep it uniform. Projection lines only extend at the very ends and they do not interfere with the design. So let's begin dimensioning ours. This is my finished design here. So I've got dimensions displayed all around the overall design and the projection lines presented there. It's tab to get all my tools back. And the one we've been going through and completing Key things to note is the dimension tool in the toolbox. And if I double click that, we'll get our presets ready. Key things are units are in millimeters, hide the units. So that will just be if the room or the door is 800 wide, it's not gonna say 800 millimeters and millimeters every single time, it's just gonna have 800. Precision to zero, scale one to 50. Please note if you're building, it needs to be scaled at one to 100 or one to 200. Go through and change that um, there. Line weight 0.25, arrow style number 27 is closest to an architectural tick. Arrow scale at 300%. Extension lines are hidden. Font family, I've kept that all default, except for font size, I think I made it seven points. And positioning, um, above the line and centered and save with an off, well, sorry, offset a two and then saving. When using the dimension line, you need to include where you want the dimension to start and then click again to stop and then where you want to display it by selecting or clicking once again. And note if I drag it up, the dimension will be displayed above and start, stop. And if I drag it down, the dimensions will be positioned below. So just keep it uniform, keep it all aligned. So in my case, I'm gonna be dragging it up. So it's always displayed above the line. Now what we wanna do is I'm just gonna do this Northern wall, so the top wall. I'm not gonna do the exterior uh, decking area. And I'm just gonna scan along this wall and identify where all those dimensions need to be. So there needs to be one there for the overall line. If my dimensions aren't displaying control colon, there we go. Must have some from previously. I'll just go through and delete all these for now. Uh, guides, unlock guides. The other thing to note is within this, go to view and make sure snap to point is selected. So then it's gonna pick up all your anchor points that you've already been going through and producing. So start again, that wall thickness. Complete. Now, key thing to note is just make sure you spend enough time doing this. 
um, errors get magnified 50 times. So if this is out a little bit, remember we've got a scale of one to 50. So it's gonna be really noticeable when we do the dimensions because the dimension that's displaying is not gonna, it's not gonna look right. It's not in indicating where the actual line needs to be. Now to get our dimensions displayed where we want them to be all aligned, I like to make a little box And so I find this is useful in terms of identifying where we're going to put our dimensions. So that first line of dimension is going to be between these two shades of orange, the second line between those two, and then the total at the end. Now I'm going to begin dimensioning. So I know where I need a dimension. Uh, I know what I need a dimension. I just need to go through and do it now. So I select the dimension tool. Remember that first line is windows and doors are the critical things. And when I'm selecting, I can select from this point here and that first window is there. But if I hold shift, it will snap it and notice that the dimension changed dramatically. Now let's proceed on to the second line. It's the exterior and interior wall thicknesses and room sizes. To get rid of our guides, control column, and I might even get rid of some of these. There's some noticeable mistakes here that I've gone a little bit too quick. Uh, so I'd want to go through and do them again. And there's also noticeable these, so 261, so it's like nine mil out, eight mil out. It's gonna be really hard and somehow I've doubled up here. Two lines, there we go. Um, to go through and get it, it's so precise because obviously we're dealing with a scale of one to 50. So what we can do is right click, no, select it and then go up to objects and then expand appearance. And this will say it's gone through and expanded. And so therefore we can then override and change 110 to 102 to 110 if we want it to be that. So similar with this, we want it to be rounded to the nearest uh, five to 10 or five mil preferably. So we don't want it down to this, a carpenter or a, tri a builder is not gonna be able to be that precise over that sort of distance. Complete our final line, so I'll turn my, and then do the projection line just by using the line tool and whoops, click and drag out and make it so it doesn't interfere with the design. So around about two mil from it and make it so it is 0.25. For our guideline. That's how we can go through and dimension it. You're going to do it on the other remaining views. And so what you're left with is a dimension line, or sorry, dimensions displayed like they are at the moment. Last of all, go through and complete the title block. Critical things are you need to state where north, the direction of north, the scale the sheet size, what it is. So it might be ground floor plan, the um, building project or project of V or V the address, the completion date and the overall sheet number. Thanks for watching.